Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about ophthalmic assistants and technicians and I'm going to give you the job duties, the education requirements, and then some detailed salary statistics so you can know exactly how much money these individuals make on average. So let's get started. First of all, what does an ophthalmic assistant do? Well, ophthalmology has to do with the eyes, and so these assistants will assist with and perform various vision tests, diagnostic procedures, and basic eye exams. They'll also administer eye medication, perform clerical duties, and explain procedures to patients and things like that. Now, the technician can do the same thing that an assistant will do. However, they usually can do a few additional duties such as operate lensometers, keratometers, and ophthalmometers. So that's a little bit about what these individuals do. Now, what are the education requirements if you want to go into this profession? Well, for the assistant, you generally have to have your high school diploma, and you can sometimes find an employer that will hire you and provide on-the-job training, and that usually is available with some employers. However, a lot of employers do prefer that you complete an accredited program and or have certification and you can become certified um, which is the certified ophthalmic assistant or the CA the COA designation and that usually takes about six to twelve months through an accredited program and you'll have to pass an examination now for the technician takes a little bit longer. Those programs are usually between one to two years and you will become a certified ophthalmic technician after you pass the certification exam, complete the education requirements, and sometimes you will have to have on-the-job experience for the certification depending on which level of certification you go with. But that's the COT designation. And you do become accredited through the Joint Commission on Allied Health Personnel in Ophthalmology. And you can go to their website at jcahpo.org and that website has a lot of good information on it. You can find out the exact uh, requirements for certification and you can also find some accredited programs through there. So that'll be helpful for you. Now let's talk about some of the likes and the dislikes of this profession. And one thing that individuals tend to like is that they focus only on the eyes. And so they really like that. And a lot of these individuals will consider themselves nurses of the eyes. So they love what they do and a lot of them really enjoy working in that area. Also, they always feel like they're learning something new and technology, of course, is rapidly changing and so they get to experience that. They also like dealing with patients and things like that. Some of the dislikes is that in some areas, some clinics, it can be a little bit fast paced. They have to deal with a certain quota of patients and so that can be a little bit stressful at times. And sometimes jobs are a little bit scarce or competitive in certain localized areas. So that's another dislike. Now, let's talk a little bit about the job statistics. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they are projecting 10% growth for ophthalmic technicians between years 2014 and 2024, which is pretty good. It's not a huge growth rate, but it does show some signs of growth, which is good. Now, how much money do these individuals make? For an ophthalmic assistant, according to payscale.com, the average hourly wage was $14.62 in the United States. The median salary was $33,676. For a technician, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average hourly wage was $17.64 and the average salary was $36,690. So that gives you a little bit of an idea. Now I'll go through some additional salary statistics here in just a moment, but these are only available for the technician. The Bureau of Labor Statistics did not have the detailed salary stats for the assistants. Now, let's talk about the industries with the highest employment level for ophthalmic technicians. First of all, offices of physicians came in at number one. $37,520 was the average salary there. Offices of other health practitioners came in at number two. $31,840 was the average salary there. And then general medical and surgical hospitals came in at number three. Average salary, $47,440. Now, which industries paid the most for this profession? Well, again, general medical and surgical hospitals, which is what I just covered, $47,440 was the average. Outpatient care centers came in at number two at $44,090. And then colleges and universities came in at number three, $43,900 was the average salary there. Now, what about the states that paid the most? Well, Minnesota came in at number one, $44,110 was the average there. Hawaii, number two, $43,430. And then North Dakota, $42,570. Now the lowest paying states, Georgia, came in dead last, 29610 
Arkansas next, 29620 and then Nebraska, number three, at $30,460. And those are just averages. And of course, if you've been in this profession for a long time, you may make a little more. And if you're just fresh out of technical school and you just are trying to get a job, you may make a lot less than that. So it just depends. It's just only averages. But I will put the uh, average for all 50 states for the ophthalmic technician. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description below or you can go to our website, registerednursern.com, and look up some of those additional statistics. And we also have a whole playlist of other healthcare salaries just like this one where we talk about x-ray techs and surgical techs and a lot of other healthcare professions if you're interested in that. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.